There's our Uber driver, right there. He's waving. He is on the front row. Welcome to what's inside today is gonna to be kind of a crazy day. I am in New Jersey right now at LG's US headquarters. It's a massive building that's in the shadow of New York City. I'm doing a live stream with LG and then as soon as it's over, we have an Uber ready for us and we're going to try to Uber all the way from New Jersey down to Philadelphia so that we can go to the Philadelphia 76ers versus Utah Jazz game. We were able to get tickets for fairly cheap compared to what it is at a lot of other stadiums. I'm not quite sure. Maybe Philly fans don't really see the value in the Utah Jazz of being a good team. Utah Jazz was the number one team last year in the regular season. First things first, I need to do this live stream. I'll show you a little bit about what that looks like and then um, let's go to a basketball game. Just a random vlog from the East Coast of the United States. So this is our studio right here. It says on air, we're not really on air. I think this is just for show, but we will be on air soon in this room right here. So we got everybody setting everything up, tons of cameras. My little station will be over there with the fancy background lights, or I'll show you. Look at this, they're setting up this setup just for me. An actual toolbox. They're putting lights behind the wall so it lights up. I'm going to unbox this box on the live stream and kind of show the all-in-one tower, which is essentially that, and then just show some of the things. Okay, we did it, we went live. I got all my makeup wiped off my face. And I think it went pretty well. There was like one little moment, of course, that in my mind, I'm like, that could have gone better. But other than that, told some good stories. It was random. Um, I think it was good. I think it was natural. So Hunter, you were in another room. Weren't there like big wigs in there? Yeah, so we had a couple of the head bosses here in the US and then we had one from Korea overlooking the live stream. And he laughed at a couple of your jokes, which no. is good. Yes, yes he did. I made someone laugh from Korea. That's great. Okay, that was great. So anyway, we had a big audience. I didn't know that was there, but as soon as we ended, I saw all these people coming out of the watch room. I was like, oh, this is a big deal. I got my mask on now. We're coming to the hair. So anyway, super fun. Um, check out this wall over here. It's like a living wall. Pretty sure this is real. That is massive. I think I need to take an Instagram photo on there. And then we gotta go catch our Uber ride and go to the game and sit courtside. We gotta get your jersey. Let's go. <laughs> this is what I got. A jazz hoodie. I found it, check it out. We got this in town last night and it works. I'm gonna represent the jazz here. It's a little note thing because they used to be jazz like saxophone stuff. So anyway, there we go. And uh, Hunter is a little bit more of a hardcore fan. So let's see it. Wait, are you wearing a business shirt underneath it? Oh yeah. Get a, get a hoodie or something. You look like you're a businessman just got out of a boardroom meeting. It's true, one sec. Hoodie. Hey, now you look like a jazz fan. Our car's waiting and we have to get all the way to Philly. It's like a two and a half hour drive and the game starts in under three hours. So when you have courtside seats, you don't want to miss the game. You got to take advantage of every second and see the warmups, which I think we're yeah. going to miss the warmups, but that's all right. All right, here we are. This is our car. This is our ride. Very nice SUV with the comfortable seats. And we got an awesome driver that we actually got him a ticket to the game. So he's going to be yep. sitting on the front row of the game too. It's going to be sweet. On we go to Philly. How long does it say till we get there? 625. We'll get there at 625, perfect. 30 minutes before tip off. That is perfect. Okay, we made it. And what's cool about this area is not that there's a casino right there. That's kind of funny because there's the Philadelphia Phillies baseball stadium right there. And then you've got the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles, right? Football, NFL right there. And then there's the NBA arena right there. Don't so forget about the Flyers. The Flyers. Hockey. Oh, I always forget about hockey. We're off to the game right now. We've got about 25 minutes until tip off. We got to figure out how to get to our seats, but I'm pumped. This is going to be great. Okay, we got our wristbands right now. We are set. We're going to this thing called Center City Club. They just checked our vaccination status back there because we're so close to the players 
that you have to have proof of a negative test or a vaccination. So anyway, we're going to some club where all the food and the drinks are free, and then we will be um, going to our There's seats. There's media. Yeah, and we got the media area. Oh, that's where they do the interviews afterward. Uh -huh. That's pretty funny. This looks like where they're doing the interviews and everything, like cameras and table. That's cool. So here's one cool thing about our seats. Here's the stadium right there where our seats are. You come in here and there's this Center City Club and all the drinks and all the food are free. And it's pretty fancy. You got a chef carved leg of lamb. Okay, that's fancy. What do we got here? Oh, I don't know. Some fancy stuff with a little pita bread. And then, wow, full on kitchen in here. I mean, you can't go to Philly without getting a cheesesteak, Okay, so we got courtside seats, but we got like the only courtside seats that aren't actually on the court. I don't know how this happened, but like there's the courtside seat right there. We have this table in between us, and we also have some random computers. I don't know why there's computers here, but we have computers at our desk right here. So we have like a little desk and like, Pop mints for the players. Like, this is where the players get their hands and get them powdered. This is some court grip right there. And we're closest to the Philadelphia 76ers. Like, their bench is right over there. And somehow we're just like right here on the court. So, good news. I don't think anybody's gonna be like running into us, like any players, because they'd have to go over this giant thing. But, um, not bad seats. Out. There's Mike Conley and there's Hunter. He's right here next to him. He's happy to see you. I just saw a dog. He likes you. I know. We're here at our seats. We're kind of courtside. We have this little area right here. But this is for the players and the referees. They come in and get these snacks and gum. This is the hand cream that they use, the little powder that they put right there. This is for the coach. Doc Rivers had it a minute ago. They put the shooters put that on their fingers and then they can shoot a little bit better. And then there's some court grip stuff for their shoes right there in their hands. There's our Uber driver, right there. He's waving. He is on the front row. He is so happy right now. That's my Uber driver. We gave our Uber driver. We gave our Uber driver front row tickets. That's pretty awesome. They're not courtside tickets, but still front row. That's pretty awesome. So first half, the Jazz were winning 61 to 54. That's really good. Also, I still think it's funny that I've got a Donovan Mitchell sports card right here. And uh, there he is, right there. So this sports card is one of 10 of Donovan Mitchell's rookie cards. One of the more valuable cards of his. The only other time this has been closer to Donovan is when he initially signed it back way back in his rookie year. So that is a sports card nerd of me right now. I've got his card. That's kind of random. I brought it to a game in Philly. Check it out. Donovan, Donovan. Right there. Donovan Mitchell. Look at those guys. All right, there goes the Jazz players. They're going to go out a few minutes early. They close it out. They got the win. Check out that guy. All right, the game is over. Um, they've won by a lot. What is it? Like, I don't know, 20 points, 22 points or something? Right now they're interviewing all the Jazz players right after here. And we're just gonna stick around because we're big Donovan Mitchell fans and Hunter is wearing Donovan's jersey so maybe Donovan will say hi, give him a high five or something. I don't even know if they're allowed to high five 
civilians or people because they have to be careful because of COVID, but anyway. Hunter's happy. How was it, Hunter? It was fantastic. Best game you ever been to? Best game I've ever been to by far. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do courtside again, but if I could, I totally would. Well, you're, you've won one game and lost two this season. Yes. That way? Okay. Well, we did make it to our hotel at midnight last night. It was a little bit tiring, and now I'm at the airport ready to head out. But awesome game, cool experience with LG. They're always fun to work with, and I love their New Jersey headquarters. And so now I'm at JFK, ready to travel the entire day to get home. It takes a long time to go from the East Coast to the West Coast, especially when I live in a small town. You have to fly to Salt Lake and then get on this little tiny plane and fly down. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this random vlog that I filmed on my phone. But uh, that's what we were up to. We went to a basketball game and I was with LG and now I get to go home and get ready for the holidays. All right, see ya. Hunter, how was the bathroom? Bathroom was great. I got heckled quite a bit. They kept uh, looking over. Nobody likes your jersey no here. No one likes my jersey. Nope. <laughs> I just told them that at least our players stayed from the 2017 draft. He's still in the league. He's not sitting out. I don't know, that must be some sort of NBA smack. I don't understand it, but something, I don't know.